Anyway, let's see where this Mega Satan run takes us through the dark room. We start with an R key. All right, strap on, boys, because we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> well, um, we win. We, we really do win. The question is, how hard do we win? And I think the answer to that you'll find is yes. Mm. Oh, I can't play you. Mm. What's in here? Mm -hmm. Now the question is, do we go to Mega Satan twice or where do we go? Robs, I'm not familiar with this expansion. Please explain for my nerd brain. Well, we have an item called the R key, which is at the same time one of the most powerful yet dumbest items in the entire game. Using the R key at any point in time consumes it and puts you back to basement one with all the items you have and just starts to run over. Uh, <laughs> It's ridiculously powerful. It also allows you to just do two objectives in one run, if that's something you want to do, still going for unlocks or something. It, it's hilarious. Um, it's also insanely rare, like it's one of the rarest items to find because it's usually just in the secret room. But obviously um, Eden decided today was the day to bless me. Oops. Wait, oh, there's an XL floor. I just lost my Devil Deal chance. Oh, it's a good thing we have that R key, <laughs> so it doesn't even matter. Hey everyone, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy my content, it would really help a great deal if you'd leave a like and a sub on the video. I do upload on YouTube almost daily, so if you're into ISAC content, this is certainly a great thing for you to do. It's okay, we'll just hit the Devil Deal anyway. Game, it's way too early to be doing this to me. Yeah, if you find the R key in a secret shop, it also sells at 99 coins. That is also a thing that this thing tends to do. I also really dig the item that pulls a string of tears behind you, honestly. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. I feel like I see R key more than Transcendence. I don't see either very often. Oh no, I took all those heads. <laughs> Conehead! Plus one soul heart and a 20% chance to negate incoming damage from tears. That's nice. It's really nice. That's a great boss for the item with the with the tear string. <laughs> Yeah, run into it. Hell yeah. Yeah, just run into... Whoops. My tail. Uh-oh. Pageant boy is okay. Almost worth it to go to the store at this point. It is... There, there was fool's gold out there too, and it is basement one technically, so the shop's gonna be open. Open. Can I hit this? Please? Oh, okay. A really underrated use for the R key in streaking as well. Uh, first of all, you know, you can reset the run at any time in case you mess up like with Mega, like I did with Mega Satan here, missing my first devil deal. But more importantly, if you ever have a dicey run and fall to half a heart, you, you can also just use this thing in an emergency to uh, restart the run and have another shot at doing the thing you want to do. What's that door back there that spawns after the, the basement two boss? And basement one boss for that matter. That takes you to an alternate path. 
that was added in Repentance. And that leads to Mother. The boss Mother. Just remember to hit space instead of hitting R. I'm pretty confident in my ability to do that. God, I love that tear string. It's so strong since most of the enemies in this game try to chase you anyway. It just so naturally demolishes everything. World card. Love it. I think it's an underrated item. Which one? The, the tear string thingy that I forgot the name of? Or the R key? Because I don't think the R key is underrated at all. <laughs> oh god. Eighteen coins from that. Neat. This is going to take a while. Because we do not deal a lot of damage with our tears. And we kind of need to against this boss. Or he just runs into our tear string. That also works. Can you do that again? Please? Come on, just look at this thing. It, it looks so cozy. You just want to run into that, right? Right? Oh my god, I have like no damage output. Oops. Ah! Oh, well, that was some hits at least. That was some hits at least. There's my cube of meat, there's the devil deal I can't go into because angel room chances, and with that, we go back to the store. Deep pockets. Well, it's gonna be a long run, so there's gonna be a lot of value to deep pockets. Alright. Fair enough. Question, if you have deep pockets, how much money does a dollar get you? Uh, 99 cents. Actually, it might give you 100, I'm not sure. Yeah, it should give you 100. How much damage do you get from money equals power with 999 coins? I don't know. The thing is, we, we did a challenge uh, with money equals power, a custom challenge with money equals power and deep pockets. And one thing I can tell you is that you get diminishing returns on money equals power over the course of it. So like the first 99 cents provide you with more damage than the second 99 cents and so on and so forth. Like at some point, once you cross like 500 coins, every cent you pick up eventually only gets you 0.01 damage. I'm taking a lot of damage in this run because the run is really not all that powerful. But at the same time, who cares? If things get really dicey, I just hit spacebar. <laughs> Start over. It's a good thing we don't have a timed goal because our key doesn't actually reset your run timer. I love that item. Rob's was like, I'm gonna do one run. Game was like, how about two? <laughs> Accurate. And then on the follow up run, we find another R key. Wow, dude, the toxic shock isn't even enough to take these guys out because our damage is so low. Judgment. Um, I need a bomb. I need two bombs, actually. Oh, wow. Hold up, hold up. Yes, free angel room chance. We love to see it. I'll take a door stop, sure. 
Um, I mean, sure, we can go for extra trinket space. I'll buy a sack for three cents as well. Come at me, bro. The problem is those tiers behind me also do have knockback. So while enemies running into them is pretty neat, uh, an enemy like Gertie is going to get deflected pretty hard, potentially, upon running into this tier string. And that can lead to me getting hit. So we need to be careful there, but that worked. That worked out. There's more important things to change in mods, but... I don't like playing the game modded anyway. Not heavily modded, at least. I mean, I use the music mod, sure, but that doesn't really change the gameplay experience. Definitely not for the worse. Like, let's be real. You can't make a game worse by adding a Danny B soundtrack to it. Wow, I'm just not playing well. <laughs> Danny B was always what was missing from Rebirth. Definitely one of the biggest losses the game sustained in the transition to Rebirth. And it didn't sustain a lot of losses in that transition. Okay, I need to stop getting hit so much because otherwise we might be popping that R key a lot sooner than I would like to. I mean, to be fair, I think we do still have the exact same amount of damage and tier rate that we started with. I'm just gonna blow this guy up. No ear cam today? No ear cam today, no. If you want to see my ears, I would have to kindly direct you to my only ears. Set to launch in May 2016. But then delayed until May 2026. Please step on the spooks. I don't want to get close to that guy. There we go. And now he got close to me. Oh my god, I finally found an item that improves the run significantly. We were just talking about banning you. Ah, don't take that personal. We, we were just horsing around. We would never ban you, Miss Achiever. I want that. But I also want that. I don't want any of these. I, I I want that. I definitely want that. I also want the soul heart, but I want that harder. Ooh. That's actually a bit of an anti-synergy. That's a bit of an anti-synergy with the... Uh, what's it called? with the proptosis because those those syringes are not going to be traveling very far <laughs> oh yes I, I wasn't sure I didn't 100% understand the question that's why I just opted to explaining what the item does uh oh man this uh, this R key run is not what you think an R key run would look like <laughs> to be fair we haven't popped the R key though so I guess up until this point, it's really just a regular Eden run that hasn't that didn't start with a use item. Oh, I'm 
Yeah, I'm not chancing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm still dead to a champion. <laughs> I'm still dead to a champion. I need to be extra careful here. Although, since we're on basement, proptosis plus uh, toxic shock should be taking care of stuff for a while now. What's the name of that item that makes a trail of tears behind you? I'm sure someone in chat can tell you. I don't know off the top of my head. Cool card, Brother Bobby, sure, because we, we definitely can't get anything good on this floor. Game is aggressive this run. The game is like, you thought you were going to have an easy Arky run here? Yeah, no, not on my watch. The game is like, I gave you that Arky for a reason, brother. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna take the PhD. I wanted to see if there's anything in the secret shop, but we're definitely taking that. Relax. Yeah, fantastic. Relax. Well, at least that gave me a thingy back. Glass Eye! Hey, look at that! It's the first damage up of the run outside of Proptosis. Rerolls all pickups in the room. Considering I have... Considering I have the member card, I really don't want to reroll the pickups in this room. Except for the thing in the middle, I guess, because I might as well. I want to see as much money as I can. Since that R key ended up a lot less spectacular than it could have been due to me playing really bad in that first run, I want to at least make something interesting out of that member card. Proptosis is this bad against Mega Satan? No. What? Excuse me? Did they nerf the explosion for that thing? What the hell? What kind of baby explosion was that? <laughs> I'll use a big boy explosion for that one. Sure, I'll take the swallowed penny over the doorstop. Crooked penny. You know, I really want to take that with me and start gumbying, but <laughs> seems like a terrible idea. Bro, bro, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, bro. <laughs> I'm doing it! Chat! It's gonna be the biggest! F <laughs> well, now I gotta make back the, the losses, so we're gonna keep this thing with us. <laughs> Oops. Oh, brother Bobby, how could you? Oh, nice. Toxic shock grows in power. Yeah, unlike my speed stat, but you know, it's a it's a worthy trade-off. Hey everyone, this is your secret call out of the day. If you made it to this part of the video, let me know you're part of the Gamblers Gang. Thank you so much for all the continued support. We hit 2,000 subs recently. Let's keep going further. If you enjoy the content, I would really appreciate if you'd leave a like and a sub on the video. Want to go into that curse room for the whoops for the chance to teleport to the angel? But the problem with that is that I don't have a bomb. So we need to find that first. I can see forever. That is a top tier pill. Actually, one of my favorite pills to find. Yes. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. The run is turning around, chat.
you don't need speed when you kill everything instantaneously. That is true, but at the same time, I do not trust that Toxic Shock to actually take out Mega Satan. So I, I do need a bit more. Hell yeah! Oh boy. Chat, you know, you know I have to, right? You know I have to. Oh, brother. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look, chat. Oh, you don't even see the camera. That's fine. You just gotta trust me not to look. I'm gonna hit it in three, two, one. I, I heard the single coin drop, I think. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Oh man. There's a lesson to be learned here, chat. If you gamble and you lose everything, you definitely gotta keep up to make back the losses. No, don't don't do that. If it's a video game and it doesn't cost you real money, gamble your heart out. Outside of that, I would absolutely not advise you to gamble IRL. But I'm totally going to fill this room with coins and roll again. Did you know that 100% of gamblers stop gambling just before they win big? All right, chat. Ready? Ready? Yes! I kind of want to do it again. <laughs> nah, let's, let's take our wins and be happy. <laughs> Ha! Ate your coin, fucker. <laughs> A plus. All right. Turns out this run is much better than the last one. I don't think I want that. I just walked in and heard we can buy the R key. What the Christ are you cooking? I don't, we don't have an R key. I'm just saying we can buy one. Shall we come across one? Oh, yeah. A lot of troll bombs. Uh, sir, you gotta let me through. Is perfection bad? No, I mean, the perfection effect itself is amazing. Oh, where's my Arky now? The perfection effect itself is amazing. The problem with perfection is that, you know, you lose it if you get hit once. <laughs> and with how I've been playing this run, I don't really trust myself not to get hit anytime soon oh my god you do take a lot of damage i mean there's no reason to put a cap up before that i have been taking excessive amounts of damage on this on this run way more than i should come on let's find a nice room to uh pop that golden key in that golden heart in i mean and then we're gonna pop the question card and the crook penny. <laughs> I don't remember this song in Flash Binding of Isaac. Yeah, that was uh, the cave theme. The entire Binding of Isaac soundtrack goes hard. Original Binding of Isaac. This game soundtrack also goes hard, but in the other direction. Crash the game? Okay, fine. I don't think the game really crashes that much anymore with active contrition. But all will be as Chad wills it, as always. Oh god, that's nice. That's boring. I I'm gonna buy eye drops, but... They're boring. I mean, my personal favorite from the old game would probably be my innermost apocalypse, which ironically is the only one I actually remember by name. And Serenity, the super secret room song. 
is just it is just an absolute masterpiece. Actually, it's actually two ends of the spectrum of Isaac music, really. Okay, chat. This is it. No! It... Oh, rip. I love how every once in a while we fight fire use and Asia shot. You can't actually tell them apart with Trisagion. But every once in a while, one of our shots actually just bursts into multiple. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it can't not hand you the L there. Nah, I was destined to win that. The game is clearly rigged against me. Oh, that's conjoined. So to any of you uh, game crashing fans, uh, this is certainly a good pass. Bro, there's two lucky pennies in there. If I get that again. Oh, well, they're just gonna roll it again. No angel room, that's sad. Squeezy is nice. Alright, chat, ready? Ready? Oh. Sag. I'm still Eden, right? So this time I'm actually gonna get three items. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to science that up in a second. Hold up. Wanna see what's in here first. I'll take the swarm protector, sure. So Crooked Penny also has the potential to to double item pedestals, right? Can I take two of these if I end up getting the double? Yay! I can get two! Sweet! Dude, this thing is actually really strong. <laughs> I never realized how good Crooked Penny is, dude. That's still the key piece. Oh yeah, I have legitimately never realized how good Crooked Penny is. Like, I thought this thing was a meme item, but this thing is legit. Anyway, we need to start thinking about our ways to get the last key piece in case we do not hit the other angel room. Which I'm pretty sure the odds at this point are still in our favor to hit it. But you gotta be ready for everything, right? I mean, the birthright could have vanished, sure, but like the triple items could have also vanished at the same rate, so... <laughs> Telekinesis is a fun item, but I also feel like you almost never actually are able to make use of that. If I was at one out of three spun, I would try and double that. But since I'm at two out of three, I'm just going to take the surefire spun. Drowsy pill. The world question. Can you make a crawl space in here? Do I want to change that and eventually potentially lose my crawl space? My reflection. For sure, I'll take it. Oh my god, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> what the hell? I'm shooting fish. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's not intentional, but it does look like you're shooting giant fish, right? <laughs> Tigs.
Wow. Seven. Eight. Uh oh. And nine. And well, we played the last time as well, right? Oh, we didn't get the soul hearts, Sag. Uh, this dark room path, so we have to take that. Hmm. I mean... I mean, I guess to make sure I get danger rooms every time I hit the thing. And I'm gonna kill you for good measure, just because I can, you know? Not because I have to, but because I enjoy it. All right, chat, it is time to find red rooms. Curse of the unknown. I mean, we're fine on HP. 50% chance to get a red room after each room we clear, except this one, because there's no room for red rooms. Fifty percent, my ass. Fifty percent, my butt. Are you kidding me? I mean, there's no room here, so that's okay. Oops. Actually, that should be pretty nutty. Hey, ah, uh, okay, okay. I take it back. I take it back. The key was just setting me up to get me to the ultra secret room immediately. What a bro. What a bro. Yeah, I mean, look, look, the key had my back. The key, the, I thought he was actually trying to mess me up. But in reality, it said, I got you, bro. There's only one room you truly need. And I'll give it to you. Oh, God. That room is terrifying. All right, Word Rage for spawn four out of three. Oh, I do have flight, right? I just picked that up. That room wasn't terrifying. Oh, if I realized that was a lucky penny, I would have gambled on it. Consolation prize, what's that gonna be? Damage. Truly the mark of a bad run is getting damage from a consolation prize. Do I need all that money? Not really, but here we are. Jesus. Jesus Christ, man. Can you bomb into the boss challenge? Maybe. Do I care? Yeah, sure, for the fans. I cannot. Let's try that again. Hold up. I want to gumba some more. It doesn't really matter. We're not getting stores anymore anyway. The luck up hill. Fifty percent means you either get it or you don't. I mean, that's that's true. The beginner arc for probs gambling addiction. Oh, please. I played poker for a living at some point. I, uh... 
I'm way past that arc. We're fine. Oh. For butt? No, not for butt. I did not play for butt. Although I could have gotten a lot of it <laughs> if I did. Oh, what? Dude, I was reading chat. You can't just spawn a super troll bomb on me when I'm reading chat. That is unfair. That is truly, truly unfair. Good god. And you know what? The funny part is this is gonna get even crazier when I pop the Magician card against Mega Satan. Like, it's gonna shred Mega Satan. You guys haven't even seen my final form yet. Tears up. Face cam? Yeah, I'm, I'm sick. We're not face camming today, sorry. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video up until this point. This is one more reminder that if you enjoy the content, it would really help out a lot if you could leave a like and a sub on the video. And now enjoy this absolutely insane Mega Satan fight and the possible victory lap that's to follow. Zero red rooms in Shoal. Yeah, 50% by the way. Curse of the Lost. Athame. Doesn't do anything on Mega Satan. Guppy's Hairball. Nail. And Ceremonial Robes. I'll take the damage up, sure. Let's try and find the Ultra Secret. Why not? I usually don't clear the show floor on these Mega Satan runs, but let's find the Ultra Secret. All right, all right, let's go. I want to see this Magician in action, finally. I guess we might as well take that. It's going to leave us with the exact same amount of hits. But we did lose 0.03 speed. Okay, watch, chat, watch. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> is is anything gonna get to attack me? <laughs> He's gonna attack me because he has damage reduction. Uh, he only got in like a quarter of an attack though. Easy peasy. You know what? Victory lap to delirium. Let's do it. <laughs> One of the few runs where I'm actually down to do a victory lap. <laughs> Jello! Mavis is actually jumping up and down in, in joy right now. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of teleporting. GG. <laughs> Whoa, that was a tough run, dude. 